The Jurassic period, spanning approximately 201.4 to 143.1 million years ago, represents one of the most dynamic and ecologically transformative intervals in Earth's history. It sits in the middle of the Mesozoic era, flanked by the Triassic before it and the Cretaceous after it, acting as a geological and biological bridge between two monumental epochs. It is an age immortalized in popular culture for its dinosaurs, but in scientific terms, its importance extends far beyond the reign of these iconic reptiles. The Jurassic was a time of climatic warmth, continental drift, evolutionary innovation, and ecological reorganization that reshaped the course of life on Earth. To understand the Jurassic, one must step back into the broader narrative of Earth's geologic past. The Mesozoic era, often dubbed the Age of Reptiles, was a time of profound transitions. The Jurassic began in the shadow of the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event, a cataclysm that paved the way for dinosaurs to rise to global dominance. Meanwhile, the supercontinent Pangaea was fracturing, setting the stage for the geographic and climatic diversity that would define much of the planet's later history. The Jurassic witnessed the emergence of the first true birds, the diversification of mammals, and the evolution of many marine and terrestrial lineages that persist to this day. It was also a period of intense volcanic activity and major oceanographic events, such as the Torsian Oceanic Anoxic event, which reshaped marine ecosystems. This video argues that the Jurassic period was a pivotal evolutionary and geological chapter in Earth's history marked by continental reconfiguration, a warm and dynamic climate, and major biological innovations. That laid the groundwork for modern ecosystems while showcasing some of the most iconic life forms ever to inhabit the planet. Jurassic World was a planet in motion. At its dawn, the supercontinent Pangaea, formed during the late Paleozoic, had begun to tear apart. This rifting process created two massive landmasses, Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. Between them, widening rift valleys began filling with water, eventually giving birth to the Atlantic Ocean. This tectonic activity was accompanied by volcanic outpourings on an enormous scale, particularly in regions such as the Karoo Farah Large Igneous Provinces. These eruptions released vast amounts of greenhouse gases, reinforcing the already warm global climate. The Jurassic climate was strikingly different from today's. There were no polar ice caps and temperatures were higher worldwide, with relatively small differences between equator and poles. The warmth allowed lush conifer forests to extend into polar regions, while low latitude interiors remained arid or semi-arid. Seasonal monsoons occurred in some areas due to shifting continental positions and oceanic currents. Crucially, this greenhouse climate and the breakup of Pangaea created a patchwork of habitats, encouraging regional diversification of species and laying the foundation for evolutionary experimentation. Marine environments also transformed. The fragmentation of continents increased the number of shallow continental seas, prime real estate for marine life. These warm, nutrient-rich waters hosted extensive reef systems dominated by sponges and corals, while ammonites and belemnites thrived as important marine invertebrates. The Torsian Oceanic Anoxic event. Around 183 million years ago, temporarily disrupted these ecosystems by reducing oxygen levels in the seas, leading to extinctions and significant turnovers in marine biodiversity. The Jurassic was a crucible of evolutionary creativity. In terrestrial ecosystems, dinosaurs emerged as the undisputed rulers. Sauropods, such as Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, and Apatosaurus, reached colossal sizes, dominating herbivorous niches, while theropods like Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and early relatives of Tyrannosaurus occupied the top predator roles. The evolutionary arms race between predator and prey drove adaptations in speed, defensive structures, and sensory capabilities. Perhaps the most famous evolutionary milestone of the Jurassic was the appearance of the first birds. Archaeopteryx, discovered in the Solnhofen limestone of Germany, bridged the gap between small feathered theropods and modern avians, demonstrating the deep evolutionary ties between dinosaurs and birds. 
Feathers, initially evolved for insulation or display, became co-opted for flight, marking a revolution in mobility and ecological reach. Mammals, though small and often overshadowed by dinosaurs, began diversifying into insectivorous, omnivorous and even semi-aquatic forms. These early mammals, members of the crown group, laid the groundwork for the post-dinosaur mammalian radiation. Marine life was equally dynamic. Ichthyosaurs streamlined into dolphin-like predators, plesiosaurs developed long necks for stealth hunting, and the first modern sharks and rays appeared. Teleost fish, now the most diverse vertebrate group on Earth, began their evolutionary journey in the Jurassic's seas. The flora was dominated by gymnosperms, especially conifers, alongside cicads, ginkgos and venetitals. These plants formed the backbone of terrestrial ecosystems, supporting vast herds of herbivorous dinosaurs and shaping the landscape with towering canopies and dense understories. One might argue that the Jurassic, while biologically diverse, was not as transformative as the later Cretaceous, which saw the appearance of flowering plants, the rise of new dinosaur clades and the dramatic KPG extinction event. However, this view underestimates the foundational role of the Jurassic. Without the continental drift, climatic shifts and evolutionary innovations of the Jurassic, the Cretaceous biosphere could not have developed as it did. The Jurassic established the ecological frameworks, such as the dominance of large-bodied herbivores and the refinement of predatory strategies that the Cretaceous built upon. Moreover, key lineages like birds, modern sharks and teleost fish first appeared in the Jurassic, marking it as a period of critical origin events rather than mere continuity. The Jurassic period was far more than just the age of giant dinosaurs popularised in films. It was a time of tectonic restlessness, with continents splitting and seas expanding, a period of climatic warmth that fostered lush forests even near the poles, and an era of evolutionary breakthroughs that produced birds, diversified mammals and redefined marine ecosystems. As argued, the Jurassic was a pivotal evolutionary and geological chapter that shaped Earth's path toward the modern biosphere. It was a period of foundation building, laying down the environmental, biological and climatic groundwork that would define the rest of the Mesozoic and influence life well into the Cenozoic. In studying the Jurassic, we do more than marvel at fossilised bones and ancient seabeds we witness the blueprint of life's resilience and adaptability. The story of the Jurassic reminds us that change is constant, that ecosystems evolve in response to both catastrophe and opportunity, and that the present day Earth is the latest expression of a dynamic planetary saga stretching back hundreds of millions of years. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.